Lucian Miller of Innovative Designs about a new quadcopter product line. Lucian, what are your plans? Well, we've got a whole new line of uh, quadcopters and hexcopters coming out. Uh, I've got the, uh, the prototype here that we've been uh, test flying and stuff. And this is the uh, uh, a 500 millimeter uh, quad formation. It's uh, 500 millimeters from the center of the motor to the center of the opposite motor. Um, this one here features the uh, Cobra 2213 motors, and it's got the uh, the open pilot copter control board on it, which is one of the latest uh, really super high power uh, quadcopter boards that's, uh, that's available out there. It's an open source project that's being put out that uh, we're distributing for the open pilot project, uh, and the uh, the finished product of this is going to be all black uh, fiberglass board and black anodized aluminum tubes so it's going to be a really sleek looking machine uh, we've got optional uh, shock absorbing landing gear on it so you know you can absorb them rough landings without uh, damaging the frame of the aircraft at all uh, the first ones are going to be coming out probably around the first of november and we're going to be having uh, a 500 millimeter quad and then a 650 millimeter quad along with a 650 millimeter hex. And then following that up, probably a month or so after that, we're going to be doing some larger machines in the 800 and 1,000 millimeter size uh, for the commercial use, uh, aerial photography, and, and that kind of stuff. Very interesting. I see you have LED lights on the outer hubs. Can you, would you like to turn them on and show? Sure. Yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah, well, these are uh, actually, they, they serve, two, serve two purposes. They provide orientation. I've got it set up with green lights in the front and red lights in the back so I can tell which way it's going uh, in the daylight. And also, it gives you the ability to fly it at night if you want. The, uh, the LED strips light up bright enough to be seen, you know, day or night. Very nice. And how many different kinds of quad designs are you going to do? Multiple versions? What about 3D? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking at the, I'm working on one that's going to have collective pitch uh, propellers on it to where you could fly it inverted, do 3D and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it, it, it's a real exciting field. It's it's like the next challenge for, the, for both the airplane guys and the helicopter guys. It's something different. It's a new flight, you know, envelope to explore. And uh, there's just a, a whole lot of stuff that you can do with them, you know, from just sport flying. You can use them commercially. You can use them for aerial photography. Uh, you know, search and rescue people can use them for, you know, trying to find people like that fell over a cliff and get down and find them. Or uh, fire departments are using them, like fire captains are, are taking these with, with uh, cameras on them and flying up to the top of a building that's on fire and they can see, you know, where to direct the uh, water and things like that and fires and police departments are using them. There's just, uh, and even the motion picture industry is now using these to get a lot of the shots that you see in movies. Uh, a lot of the aerial shots that they used to do with helicopters, they're doing with quadcopters now because they're so much easier, so much cheaper to operate. They don't blow the set all over the place from the downwash like a full-size helicopter would. And it just it just makes a real economical way for the uh, you know motion picture industry to get those really cool aerial shots that they need to, to pull off a certain scene in a movie. Any thoughts on pricing? Uh, well, our basic kits, uh, like the one that you see here, is going to be starting out around $99 retail. And they'll go up, up from that, so depending on the size of the machine. Okay, well, thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome. And, and good luck with the product line.